I just wanted to congratulate you, Red. You really deserve this. Thanks, Natty. I know we had some differences over the years, but we always worked them out in the ring. Yeah, except that one time we got into it backstage. <laughs> I forgot about that. I didn't. Oh, yeah. The usual stuff. That's right. Now I remember. Things have clearly gotten personal between Red and Natalia. This is on Red for claiming she was the best female superstar to ever come out of Calgary. That was pretty much a direct shot at Natty. Natalia is certainly proud of her legacy and will go to any lengths to defend it. Changes her fortune there. Yet another counter. It's like they're both somehow one step ahead of each other. Inverted Jeez. suplex. That hurt. Saw that one coming. She returns the favor there. Uh. And another reversal. Seems like we're back where we began, Michael. Big punch finds its mark. Natalia's a third generation superstar and extremely confident, but pedigree and confidence can only get you so far in WWE, especially in a match like this. What does Natalia have to do here to pull out the win? I think it's pretty obvious. Natalia's best strategy has to be soften her opponent's back to prepare for the patented Hart family sharpshooter. That's the ace in the hole and the reason why Natalia's so confident. Uh. Full Nelson applied. Oh my God, what an elbow. Boom, what a forearm. Boom, what impact. Uh oh. Neckbreaker. Again! Ugh. Oh, saw it coming. Wow, what a sequence. Oh, yeah, here's Natalia. Ugh. Impressive series of moves. Looks like nobody's budging, Cole. Ugh. What's this? Down! The Chinoku drop! This singles match has come to an end. Wow. Hey, it's X-Pac. Just keep walking, we don't have time. We always have time for X-Pac. Besides, you can't just ignore a WWE Hall of Famer. I can. Trey. Pac, what's going on? Hey guys, looking good. You too. Thanks, I'm on this new mustard only diet. As in mustard is the only condiment you use? No, as in I only eat mustard. I've already dropped like seven pounds. That's... Interesting. But enough about me. This is your big night. I swear it was just like yesterday when I first saw you two on the indie scene. Yeah, at that point we were only a couple years in. 
and I was about 30 years in. But I could still go today if I had to. I'm telling you, this diet's legit. I guess you could say you can cut the mustard, huh? Anyway, we wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you, so thanks. I'm sure you'd have been fine with it without my help. Trey, I don't think I can say the same for you. You were kind of the drizzling craps back then, no offense. No, it's true. And I wasn't just a drizzle. I was more like a torrential downpour of crap. Red was always ahead of me from the moment we started training. You can use this credit card for whatever you need, but we keep the reward points. I'm about 10,000 short of a free trip to someplace warm, and you're gonna help me get there. Deal? Got it. We are gonna miss oh. you so much. When did you get there? I just had to be close to you one more time. It, it feels like yesterday we got that call, there was a boy in Denver who was ready to be adopted, and now you're all grown up and going off to college. I, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> I know. Hard for me to believe, too. We'll come visit soon, okay? No, don't. I mean, a, a big part of college is learning independence, and if you're visiting all the time, then I'll never be able to do that. Just be smart about the credit card, okay? Like, if there's a big keg party, put it all on the card and have everyone pay you back in cash. That way, I'll be headed for that free beach trip in no time. Hey, maybe we could go on spring break together. Frank? I have to go. Okay, drive safe. This is the part where you get out of the car. <laughs> right. Call us when you get to school. We love you, Denver! Do you believe this? We're finally doing it. Our very first list item. Train at the dungeon. Are you excited as I am? I don't think that's possible considering you've already had three energy drinks before we've even left town. <laughs> but this is gonna be cool. I know. Think about how many top superstars came through Calgary. The Hearts, Edge, Jake the Snake Roberts, Rowdy Roddy Piper, and we're next. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have a long way to go before we can be mentioned in the same sentence as those legends. Everyone has to start somewhere though, right? And the dungeon is a great place to start. I still can't believe your parents were okay with all this. What happened to them wanting you to go to college? They changed their minds. Just like that? Just like that. Huh. Well, that's good. Hey, pull over real quick. Bathroom break already? No, I want to show you something. See that sign? Our faces are going to be on it someday. You really think we can become more famous than the inventor of the paper toilet seat cover? He put a lot of butts in seats. And when we make it to WWE, so will we. Time for a road trip game. If you could face anyone who trained in Calgary in a dream match, who would it be? Isn't it a little early for road trip games? We still have like 2,000 miles to go. Come on, I'll get you started with some options. 
How about Bret Hart, Jake the Snake, or Rowdy Roddy Piper? That would be so cool to face a legend like that. Could you imagine? The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 289 pounds, the Superstar. Singles action on it. Here comes the excellence of execution. And his opponent from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Blake. So you know when you're on a long drive to the next town and to pass the time, you start coming up with dream match scenarios? Well, these two facing each other is exactly that. These are certainly two of the top names to ever pass through the Great White North. When I'm on a long drive, I'm mostly just thinking about how grateful I am to be Byron Free at the time. Ah, uh, you know you miss me. Not a chance. Uh-oh. Watch out here. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Vicious knee. a master technician and an expert at wearing down opponents. It's important for a WWE superstar to try and establish a faster pace to the match. But there aren't many things a superstar can do to get the advantage on Bret Hart Cole. Despite Hart's athleticism to keep up with a quick opponent, the hitman prefers to operate at his own methodical pace. You know, watching Bret Hart in action here is just a reminder that he may be the greatest technical wrestler of all time. How do you counter that kind of dominance? If you want to beat the Hitman, you need to use hit-and-run tactics to maintain some space and stay on your feet. If he's able to lock you up, it's all over. Bret wants to take this battle to the mat as much as possible where he can maintain complete control. As his opponent, you can't let him trap you. I'll add to my point about how a faster pace can benefit. He can do it here. And Bret Richter gets the shoulder up. How in the world? Look past the ring at the thousands and thousands of WWE fans in attendance. Each and every one of them are being entertained tonight. Would you look at this? It looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Hart is showing signs that it could be ending soon. Time's almost up. He's totally out of it. Nobody's home upstairs. We've seen Bret Hart make some big cuts. To be honest, I am baffled right now. There is no good reason why he would let him out at this point in the match. Up. Oh. Guys, Bret Hart taking full advantage. That's why you're the best analyst in the game, Corey. Uh-oh. Look at to catch him off guard. Curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. He's got some more fight in him, guys. 
finds a way to reverse. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. Oh, man. Great display of strength with the suplex. Ooh, treading all over their opponent. He's just dominating at this point. Great effort, but we'll see if he has any energy left later. We are seeing a lot of guts, a lot of determination out there. You have to wonder where that one turning point to end this will come from. Drop kick! Great athleticism. Oh, man, what a leg drop. He's getting a little battered now. Yeah, but he's not breathing heavy yet. Single leg drop kick caught him. And Bret Hart slips out of harm's way. So quick. Uh-oh. That's not... Oh, what an elbow! And there's the reversal for Bret Hart. Whoa, it's another reversal. Engineering! Right on. The mark. Up across the shoulders. What's next? TKO. We might be looking at a rare Hitman loss here. Will it be? I think so. One, two, three. You can put this one in the bank. Taylor backing out of the hip. 